you want to just hold left control and right now it is going to be centered as you can see right here i think this one looks pretty pretty centered then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit on the timeline then we're gonna also make text um under the explosion so we're going to drag this <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new series in this After Effects series tutorial of After Effects 2017. I'm gonna show you guys lots of things such as how to make an intro, how to make an outro, how to use a green screen, the perfect render settings, uh, how to clone yourself, how to do all kinds of effects. So I would say make sure to smash the like button for this brand new series that you guys have all requested. We almost got a thousand votes on the poll where I asked you guys what you guys want to see on Friday and obviously After Effects w wins big time so every Friday at 1 p.m. PST there will be an After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial the very first one I'm going to show you guys how to create a really 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 basic intro in After Effects so as you can see right now we are in After Effects 2017 and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to drag in uh, a song a music uh, music song we're going to drag in an explosion and we're going to create uh, an intro where the music kicks in and then on the drop there is boom an explosion with your name on it so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video so I would say let's get started so as you can see right now uh, I have this folder right here and I'm going to uh, drag in the explosion uh, into After Effects as you can see, this is the first one. Then we're going to drag this one onto our timeline, as you can see. And this doesn't really work the same as Vegas. You're not going to press S to cut and everything. I'm going to show you guys and explain you guys how it's done. And we're going to cut towards where the explosion starts. So I'm going to just... Uh, look where it is I think it is right here so right now the explosion starts as you can see right here then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut and we're gonna not press S like in Sony Vegas but we're going to press Control shift D as you can see this one splits it up and right now you can delete this one and now we're gonna drag this one to the beginning of our timeline as you can see right here uh, let me zoom in a little bit so I can actually trim it and there we go. So this is the black screen as you can see. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut where the explosion ends. So we don't want to have like two explosions in a row. So I'm just going to look where the explosion is ending. And then we're gonna press Control Shift D as well again to just trim that. So I'm just going to look where it ends. As you can see, it's starting to dissolve and I think it stops right here as you can see little frames right here it stops it is black again so press Control shift d and now we can cut away at that part so right now as you can see we have an awesome explosion in after effects and it just goes to black now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a text file and it is not going to uh, like going to media generators etc we're going to right click on the timeline new text and right here we're just going to just type in just alex halford as you can see and to center it you want to just hold left control and right now it is going to be centered as you can see right here i think this one looks pretty pretty centered then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit on the timeline then we're going to also make the text um under the explosion so we're going to drag this ta uh, this track underneath that one so as you can see we have the explosion but the text is not visible as you can see that's because uh the um uh, the compositing mode of the explosion track is not really optimized so we're going to right click on the um the explosion track then we're going to go to the uh option where it is i think it is blending mode and then we're gonna put this one to screen and boom as you can see the text is, is coming through it so right now I'm going to place uh, the text uh, a little further as you can see so when it's when it's so so it will appear when the explosion appears boom it is appearing a little bit too early boom as you can see there is our text that is our intro so I'm going to also uh, zoom in a little bit I'm going to trim the text uh, to where the explosion is ending as you can see is so right here so i'm going to press Control shift d as well then we're going to cut away that one and right now we have a beautiful intro with uh, an explosion with my name appearing as you can see just alex alford boom there we go and now we're going to add in a music uh, song from ncs so we're going to time this on the drop so let me drag in that song real quick 
a few moments later. All right, folks. So this is, as you can hear, uh, the audio. But I'm going to just cut and I'm going to uh, look for the drop. I think it looks, it, it, it is pre pretty legit right here. So I'm going to press Control shift d as well, remove this part, and then we're going to start putting that one to the beginning of our timeline, and let's see what it sounds like. So as you guys can see, uh, the text and uh, the explosion are a little bit too early, so let's uh, drag them a little bit to the right. Boom, there we go. Now I'm gonna cut this one as well. And I'm gonna uh, extend the text one to the end. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Boom, and, now, and obviously uh, at the end you can fade text to black and also fade the music to black. So that is basically how to create a really, really basic intro, guys. I know, but this is still better than adding, like editing a template and then receiving thousands of comments like, dude, why are you showing you guys how to just edit a template and you call it making an intro while you're just editing an existing template. That is it for this very first After Effects tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the little details about how to uh, fade in how to fade out I'm, i'll be uploading lots of videos in the in the next couple of weeks months showing you guys everything how to do it so you guys will be the perfect masters of this program like sony vegas like you guys are in vegas so make sure to prepare to learn after effects just like sony vegas really simple basic tutorials i want to thank you guys for watching thank you for the continued support and i'll see you guys next friday with a brand new after effects tutorial as always on friday from now on so i'll see you guys on monday Monday. Just Alex Halford.